It's FA Cup final time. How excited are you, right? I'm very, very excited. I'm excited. Very and, excited. Oh, we've got two guys who I'm sure are very excited. <coughs> Rich and Robbie are with us, representatives for both clubs. I'll start with you, Robbie. Excited, looking forward to it. Nervous. Very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am nervous and I'm very excited. Very excited. I mean, first time for a long time that the season's sort of been over for everybody else yeah. and Arsenal's still got something to play exactly. for. Exactly. So. Really exciting times. Worried? <laughs> a little bit because of what happened against Birmingham a couple of years back? Yeah, well, we... <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk and about that. And it's not even just that. I mean, what happened to Manchester City last year as well, you can't be complacent Absolutely. in these games. Even though, you know, we've beaten Hull twice. And, you know, I was at the last game when we played you guys up at your place and I thought, you know, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. But the FA Cup final is going to be... It's all bets off, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. different. Rich? What about you? You've got actually two strikers, Jelovic and Long, both can't play. Fry's yeah. been in good form though in the FA Cup. Yeah, I mean, Fry, but he's been in good form against sort of Championship and League One level teams. Shelley and, and uh, Mertesack will be a different matter. Um, it's a tricky one, you know, it's, it, we're, sort of, we're happy to be there. Mm. This is the first FA Cup final City you've ever been in, but um, at the same time, we're going to win. Uh, we'll need a lot of key players to really, really come to the fore. Mm. Um, Tom Huddleston is obviously who we've built our team around this yeah. season, and it's worked, <laughs> it's worked brilliantly for us. He loves Arsenal. Uh, yeah, yeah, evidently. Uh, but yeah, but um, he's he's slackened off a bit in the last couple of months. He's, but he, that's he's not just tired. him. In fact, results yeah. generally it's all the back you end almost, of the season. I tell yeah. you what, you, you almost feel like you, like you say, and it's a fantastic occasion for Hull, their first ever like uh, cup appearance. And, that, and, you know, it wouldn't surprise me, man. I wouldn't say that the players consciously turn off, but they are getting ready for this game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They know they're safe. Uh, they weren't going to go down. And that, I think that that has happened with them. And, uh, and that's why it, it worries me with Arsenal. Yes, they haven't got yellow, they haven't got long. And they, it, it all seems like it's boiling up to say, oh, well, Arsenal should do this, no problem. All the signs are that Arsenal, they've been in London for the whole time. You know what I mean? They've had the easiest, like, so-called, like, the semi-finals, then they're in the finals, and it's against Hull, and Hull have lost their two front men. It's, yeah. if, if someone upstairs <laughs> is not saying, listen, Arsenal, here you go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, do you think that can be a catalyst for Arsenal as well? If they, if they were to win this trophy, you expect Wenger to spend a bit more money in the summer again, probably yeah. on a striker, I would imagine. Yeah. Do you think they can kick on from that? I if think that, that trophy? What, what it needs, Matt, and, and, you know, from, a, from when, when I, the first thing I won at Arsenal was the League Cup. And you, you just, you get the feeling of winning something. That's what these squad of players need to do. Mm. Need to win something. And then, yes, Wenger does need to, to buy some players to add to what, what, what he's got there. It can change the whole mentality because even amongst the fans, I mean, we're just not used to winning anything. Yeah. It's been so long and um, it will be a mentality change for the whole club. <coughs> and, I, I, you know, it's, it's a big... Big. But Hull, though, with, with, with Hull, they've got it's just a talk. This is a proper underdog, mm. uh, underdogs against like David and Goliath game, mm -hmm. and this, you you have to be afraid of Hull. For me, if I was Steve Bruce, they're I'd like give tigers, them, aren't they? They're just like <laughs> they're city tigers. Yeah. I just feel like it's one of those where he can give them the mm. proper, literal like Churchillian speech. Give me, to go a, give me a quick prediction. Quick prediction. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for, a, as, as somebody who grew up in the 80s, you know, watching the, the, yeah. the classics, the, the, um, and even going up to Palace and Manchester United game, uh, I think it's going to be 3-2 to Hull City. Wow. Robbie, what do you think? I'm going to go 3-0 to Arsenal. I, 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 He's getting comfortable. <laughs> what listen, listen, I, I, just, I just think that he can go. To, listen, I, I don't want to be complacent, but I just think that if we get a first goal, um, the way we're playing at the moment, everybody's back now. Mm. There's no injuries. I mean, it's just, like you said, it's a bit too good to it's be true, but brilliant. the key player that's back is Aaron Ramsey. And I, I just think that we want this so badly. We, we're not going to go into it complacent because we need this. So, yeah. Righty. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go, yeah, go with that because, like There's I said, I'm, I'm desperate. <laughs> There's a shot. <laughs> There's a shot. Two Arsenal fans are going to win. The whole fan thinks they're going to win. But what do you think? Let us know on Twitter at Ball Street. And stay tuned because we're going to be talking tactics ahead of the big kickoff on Saturday.